All right, starting to sneak around this ridge now. The wind shifted to south. So I'm slowly making my way around this ridge, seeing if we can wind, wind bump anything to my friend. Still hunting along the way. Overlooking a nice swamp here, too. set up it's uh, second to last day of the season Saturday November I think it's 29th and I dropped my friend off it's a couple hundred yards away <clears throat> he's at or he's in a nice saddle and really good trail crossings I still hunted for about two or three hours to get to this spot couple hundred yards away. I'm overlooking a swamp. I can probably see a good 250, 200 yards in that swamp. There's a little clearing out there. And then to my right, there's a nice draw that comes down, feeds into it. Any deer walk, work from the hill down to the swamp or up from the swamp, up this draw. Uh, we should just have a just off wind. We should have like a southwest wind. Right now it's south, but it's supposed to change to southwest. So this will be my last day, gun season. Uh, hopefully one of us gets one. We'll see what happens. All right, it's about two o'clock right now. I haven't seen anything all day. Not that many shots either. It is warmer out today though, it's 50 degrees. It's a 10 degree increase from yesterday, so that doesn't help, but it's getting me the last couple hours here. Something could sneak along right below me, right on the edge of the swamp. Usually there is a rub line. Right where the swamp starts at the bottom of the hill. Every year there's a rub line there, so you never know. A buck could be sneaking by there. All right, I think my friend just shot. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get down and check. I'm pretty sure that was him though. We'll see what he got. Swamp. The swamp meets that's the end of that ridge. This is 
job, buddy. I can only see half the rack, buddy. I'm happy about that. Yeah. All right, we finally have a, a blood trail to follow. And uh, me being a rookie, I forgot to do a in the field interview with my friend Nate, who shot that buck. Um, and then he was not able to come over to do this interview. We tried to set something up, it didn't work out. Basically five deer came in, uh, three does came first and a smaller buck, a spiker. And they came in for a little bit and kind of worked their way off where they came from. Um, and then this last, the big, bigger buck that he shot was um, the last one to come in. And he was just about to leave also. And Nate got him with the smoke pole. Now he was super excited to get this deer. He shot a buck also in the bow season. And then he also got one with gun season. So he was super, super excited and I was excited for him. I was just excited that uh, my in-season scouting that I did and also the still hunting the previous weekend... Um, kind of led to, to getting this buck and uh, definitely saved that, marked that tree on my hunting app and I'll for sure be back in that area in future seasons. So I was not um, successful in getting a deer this year. I passed on opening day on that doe because I didn't know if a buck was following that deer or not and I wanted to make sure that one, one wasn't. Uh, so that's just kind of kind of the way it goes. Um, but I was blessed. I had someone give me uh, a bunch of venison. So I was uh, blessed in that way. God still provided. And uh, so I'm thankful for that. And I just had some awesome encounters earlier in bow season. And I was on deer every time. Pretty much I went out, at least saw something. So I was blessed to be able just to be out there. Uh, maybe some of you guys hopefully have some success this season. And if you did a European mount, um, I have a friend whose name is Philip, and uh, this is the company he owns. I'll put a link in the description. Um, I don't get any money off this. I'm just, it's just, he's just a friend, and he's got some really cool. He sells some European uh, for European mounts, like plaques, something to put your European mounts on. He has a number of different options. And he also has stuff for turkey hunting, and he also has uh, some apparel also. Um, he's just got some really, really neat options uh, for mounting your European mounts. And so, and again, at a fraction of the price of what a, a shoulder mount would cost. So if you guys had any uh, luck this season, <clears throat> if you were blessed to get a buck, and you are or will be doing a European mount, uh, check out goldtine.com and uh, check out all the options uh for for your buck two scripture i want to share first one is proverbs 12 verse 18 says reckless words pierce like a sword but the tongue of the wise brings healing and also proverbs 13 verse 3 says he who guards his lips guards his life but he who speaks rashly will come to ruin um our mouths are a very very small part of our body but can cause um can get us into a lot of trouble at times and so these are just two great reminders. Are we tearing people down with our words or are we building them up? So I just want to um, share that scripture. Uh, it's a great reminder for me personally um, that I need to guard my lips and I need to um, be wise and uh, build others up with what I say. Thanks for watching. Until next time, stay on target.